This is headline news from KRT, Critical Race Theory. Here's what's happening. Chicago's newly elected mayor, Brandon Johnson, is a key figure in the Democrats' plans to win the presidency in 2024. The party believes that Johnson, who is progressive and labor-friendly, will help to tell a multicultural and multi-generational story that will resonate with the young voters. The Democrats are also banking on the fact that the convention will go off without a hitch in a city that has had a spotty record throwing these events and a reputation for violent crime. While Johnson did little to woo Democrats to choose Chicago for 2024, the convention will be a chance for him to raise his profile and that of his city. However, the convention could also highlight the city's problems, including homelessness and policing, and could define the untested mayor's first term. The task is a tall one, but Johnson sounds confident that he can pull it off. In other news, authorities have taken a three-week-old baby from her parents, Rodney and Tamicia Jackson, in Dallas, Texas, due to medical concerns. Reproductive justice advocates, including the Ophelia Center, rallied for Mila's return. The Jacksons chose to treat Mila's jaundice at home, but a pediatrician insisted on hospitalization. The Jacksons believe they are being targeted for their home birth and midwife. Demonstrators protested outside DFPS with signs reading, CPS is wrong, bring Mila home, stop policing black families, and stop medical racism. And the family has had a few supervised visits with Mila, who is now in foster care, but a court hearing delay is keeping them apart. DFPS officials declined to comment due to confidentiality laws. And in a recent interview with the Times in London, Morgan Freeman expressed his dislike for the idea of Black History Month and the term African American. According to Freeman, Black History Month is an insult and it relegates the history of black people to just one month. He also finds the term African American insulting and does not subscribe to it. Freeman believes that black people have had different titles over time and questions the meaning of the term. He also mentions that most people in the U.S. are of mixed heritage and finds it misleading to refer to them as African American. Freeman talks about his admiration for Sidney Poitier and his envy for his friend Denzel Washington's career. He also reflects on his own career and how the character he portrays has adapted to him rather than the other way around. And if you're a basketball fan, here's some news for you. In game one of the NBA playoffs, the Los Angeles Lakers made an impressive comeback, ending the game with a 15-0 run to beat the Memphis Grizzlies. This marked the first time since 1988 that four Laker players scored at least 20 points in a playoff game. That's a feat achieved by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Magic Johnson, Byron Scott, and James Worthy. The final score was Lakers 126 to 112 over the Grizzlies. And the Los Angeles Clippers won their game one, beating the Phoenix Suns 115 to 110, with Kawhi Leonard scoring 38 points. This has been KRT News. Thanks for listening. Thanks for checking in. Please like and subscribe and share the video with your friends and family. I'll see you next time.